Hey, kudos guys. When you have reached to this video, 50th video of this Python programming, that means you have learned considerably good. You can now claim yourself and build a confidence that you know at least some basics of Python programming. You can clear the basic Python beginners level coding contest anywhere. So this is a journey so far video. What all things that we have discussed so far? This is a brief summary. So we literally started with nothing, right? We did not know what is Google Collab. We did not know what is Python, why Python and all, right? So we were successfully able to create our first program on Google Collab. Then we studied about variable declarations in Python. Then we started studying the different data types where we came across with in, float, complex, in, and uh, str string type. Then we started with sequence data types. And we studied about tuples, lists. Then dictionaries. We saw the properties of each of these sequence data types like tuples. Then we saw sets and dictionaries. Then we started using some Python operators. We studied different operators, including arithmetic operators, and we performed several arithmetic operations. Then logical operators, comparative operators. Then we started with while loop, for loop. How do we use these loops in Python like language? Then we started defining functions. How do we define function? How do we invoke function? How do we pass the arguments? There we studied about arcs and quarks. Then once we have studied the functions, we then move to the random use of random modules like structures. We used several uh, modules like random, time, date and time. Then we started with some packages like NumPy. NumPy was the most useful package. Then matplotlib, where it was helpful for us to draw graphs from the data. Then Then we started with the matplotlib. Yeah, after matplotlib, we started with pandas. Then we read the data from the Excel file. Then we did some understanding of the data. Then we visualized the data. So this set of videos, you were able to learn quite a bit about Python programming. So all the best. We will continue with Python for machine learning in the next set of videos. See you in the next videos. Thank you.